Well, hello and welcome to the Wellness Universe's energy forecast for the month of April 2022. My name is Mitchell Osborne. I am a part of the Wellness Universe, which is this giant platform of peace bringers, world changers, best-selling authors. And I am a tarot reader, and um, we're going to dive into April and just kind of see what the cards have in store for us. So I'll be using the Tarot of Dreams by Chitter Marchetti. First of all, April is the fourth month. Four carries with it this solid, practical, you know, formation, just very grounded. It's a feminine number, which means there's not a lot of movement going on, hence the four corners, grounded, you know, foundation type energy. The year is a six year, 2022, two plus zero plus two plus two. If you add those together, you're going to get the energy of the month as well, which would be 10. And 10 is actually a 1 because 1 plus 0 is 10. And that's like starting over again, yet taking all that you learned from the cycle of 1 through 9 before we got to 10. So let's dive in and see what the cards say for the month of April 2022. All right. So first card, what is the energy going to look like from the tarot? Hangman, which we talked just a little bit about kind of formation, grounding, not a lot of movement. The hangman is not moving much. It's time for contemplation. It's time to reflect, um, think about things. So April would be a great month to be thinking about kind of what's going on in and around your life. How do you best navigate or work with that energy? Ooh, this is, you can see Gemini and Mars, but this person is a little fearful about what's coming in the nighttime. So as you're reflecting, it could bring about some fears. And I feel like this person is facing their fear. So as you sit quietly, as you reflect, as you think about where your life is taking you, this may be a time to turn into those fears to face them. I even love that, that they're looking back at the hangman. <clears throat> so it's like, okay, I'm stuck. I'm hanging. I'm in a metamorphosis stage. What do I do? What do I do to face these fears? And what's the best outcome if we do face those fears? So this is eight of coins and this is sun and um, Virgo energy. So facing your fears will definitely bring about work, movement, success. The number eight is about material wealth, success, organization. This card is like just lots of money, lots of work, working late into the night. So if there has been worry about, you know, money, finances, business, and you feel like you're in this kind of stuck time, face the fears, really dig in and see what's going on. You may have a fear of money. You may have that you don't believe you are worthy and deserving of it. By facing those and understanding them, you'll bring about that prosperity, that abundance, that work, that movement, whatever it may be. All right, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching and check us out at thewellnessuniverse.com. Namaste, have an amazing month. Bye-bye.